Greetings, star seeds and light workers. Ava here, and welcome for those of you that are new, those of you that are returning. I'm so grateful for you being here. And today we have a question, as we do every Monday here on this channel. I'm a trans channel that channels the Pleiadians, answering your questions every Monday. And today's question comes from Jaya, and she asks, "Does Earth really have its own heartbeat? I've heard Diana talk about this before. If so, what's its significance to humans? Are we meant to synchronize with?" the earth's heartbeat or stay in sync with our own? Ooh, good question. Thanks, Jaya, for this great question. I love talking about the earth's heartbeat and our heartbeats and all the heartbeats. And so I'm excited to hear what Diana has to say about this. I am going to go right out and put you in touch with the Pleiadians. Thanks so much for being here. And if you like this, please subscribe and share this video so that we can, you know, give it a like button if you like that as well. Here we go. I'm going to put you in touch with the Pleiadians. Thanks so much. Ah, greetings. This is Diana of the Pleiadian family. You see, we're here always bringing the love. We like to do it like this. The heart. You see the heart. We love the love. You see, and we are also here to answer your questions. You see, and we like to know that you have the you, you that you know you have support from all of us here because you are really the ones doing the hard jobs here in the in the human forms, especially during this ascension process of the of the the, the earth and yourself. You see, so you're doing great great work here. So so take a deep exhale. <gasps> ah. You're doing well. You're doing very well. You see, and you want to know about the heartbeat, you see, of the planet, of the earth, you see. Is it real? Well, first of all, of course it is real, you see. Everything has a pulse to it. Everything has a breath. Everything has a life, you see. So mm, there is a, a beat um, of happening within the earth, you see. There is its, its own being, you see, simply as you are your own fractal, as is the earth, you see. The, you are from the same, from the same frequency, so strands within the same heartbeat of home you see so you come back to your your home your roots so to speak whenever you get a little bit lost with your own heartbeat you can come so you synchronize to her heartbeat you see to know thyself really in, in the sense of your your humanness you see so the, the the matter that matters is coming from the beat of the heart itself you see so that is how we can really play with it a little bit it's a very simple question, you see. Are we meant to synchronize with our own? Well, you see, it is you are one and the same. You are one and the same. You are not so separate. And this is really the, the point of it all. You are not a separate, separate entity from anything. You are one consciousness, you see. So then what is this play? You see, where is the, the feeling of separate, the feeling of, of distinction come? You see, and that is the, the, the play of the consciousness where mm, the consciousness itself, which is yourself, you see, choosing to have mm, different viewpoints on itself. So you can look around and have all these different experiences and say, wow, I'm creating all of this. I am the creation and the creator all at once of all of these different aspects of possibility, you see. So you're choosing in each moment which which one which angle to to partake in in any given moment you see, so in this particular moment you're choosing this name you see who's the question from this Jaya me perhaps you see, it is like that you see choosing a name choosing a frequency choosing a form, choosing an experience overarching experience and then all these free will points along the patterning. So this is really the way that it plays out, you see, but you are still of the earth point, you see. <coughs> Sometimes we get a little bit in the throat, we apologize, you see, we are maybe needing to take a little bit of the, mm, what we like to call sipping the earth, you see, we'll talk about that maybe because it's related. So we think this is the water. Oftentimes, Ava will have a little bit of tea for us, you see. <clears throat> Today, we just have the water. It's okay. But what we'll say here, we like to, we call it sip the earth. We like to sip the earth. You see, we've maybe mentioned this before. <coughs> that we like to take in the, the, the frequency of the earth body because we can tune in then when you are taking in sipping the earth, sipping tea, for example, herbal tea, you like coffee, you like things like this, you can literally tell the, 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 the place on the body of the earth and you can be in frequent resonance 
with that particular place on the body, you see. So in, when you are picking the herbs from your garden, you are becoming more and more in the, the, the circuitry of the place on, on Mother Earth where you live, you see. And so you are developing a stronger connection in that way. And for the Pleiadians who are just trying to pop into a form for just a little moment in time, you see, well, it's quite convenient then to sip the earth of where she is, you see, then, then we can really mm, land a little bit easier. It's a more soft landing, you see, rather than the bump, 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 you see. But we are, are working that out, you see. We're not so bump, bump, bump with the Ava anymore, you see. But it is really like that, you see. So it is a way to tune in. And you could say to tune into the heartbeat, the pulse, the frequency, the rhythm, all these ways, you see, to name the same thing, you see. But it is really knowing yourself. It is really a frequency of you, you see. And so it is not so separate, you see. So, so instead of looking at mm, my heartbeat and the earth's heartbeat and they must be so separate, maybe think about how can we mm, really tune in and listen to all, in all the ways that we can hear, to all of our senses, the ways that we can really feel the heartbeat of the earth, tune into it more and notice how much it, it is the same of everything on the body of the earth, the same as the humans, the same as the trees, the same as the rocks, the same as the birds, the same as the oceans, you see, noticing how it is all a part of the same humdrum, yet there is a distinction within each as well, and this is what creates the orchestra of life on your third dimensional reality. Isn't this beautiful? You see, it's very, very beautiful, you see. And so you have this creation within it all. And so this is really the fun of it all. And then you go from planet to planet, hopping around like little bunny rabbits, dimension to dimension, form to form, having different experiences for the play of it all, for the, for the consciousness of play. You see, this is really the simplicity of it all. So... Mm, T take rest in that piece for today, that you are knowing that you are simply playing in these points of creation and that it is your job to to really understand the, the, the harmonization of it all and where you fit into that, that orchestra that is playing all the time. You see, what is your note that you are playing today, my dear? This is the question. Blessings from the Pleiadians. <clears throat> I trust that this message was exactly what you needed to hear today. And if you liked it, come back next week. Share this with your friends, and we'll see you here next Monday. Blessings to all of you. Thank you so much for being here.